Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be making some more progress on the Keller. If you don't remember this car or haven't seen the videos, link will be up in the corner of me pulling this out of a tow yard. The car had sat for 60 years and it was just rotting away. And now we have it at the shop and tearing this thing down and it's revealing a bunch of things that I never thought I would see in uh, a car that was on the road. Got the top of the head removed, if you would call it that. It's just pretty much the combustion chamber and it holds the spark plugs. But everything in here looks really, really nice. But some of the valves were a little sticky. I did unstick them. So now we are good to go. I do plan on going through this whole engine, rebuilding it. I'm going to do, I believe there's an upgrade kit where you can do stainless steel valves. It upgrades the valve springs, also upgrades the valve guide. And then I wanna put in hardened valve seats so I don't have to rely on leaded fuel. But I was just very surprised that there wasn't any rust in the cylinders. For the most part, this thing, other than the sticky valves and not getting spark, it probably would have started up because three cylinders were good and there was just one cylinder that had two sticky valves that were stuck open. So now they're all good. You can see everything is touching except for this one right here. That one's the one that was sticky and so was this one.
I now have the frame 100% stripped down and I'm very excited because in the next video, I can start fixing some flaws that I noticed as well as some safety concerns. And there is some rust on the frame. So the frame, it isn't rusted through, but where the sheet metal or the floor metal was touching the frame and it was deteriorating away into pretty much oblivion, it started to kind of deteriorate the frame and that metal has kind of thinned down. So I don't want to just blast it, have it powder coated and call it a day because the metal has thinned out a little bit and I want to resolve those issues instead of just slapping a coat of paint on it and then just not worrying about it because it's under a floor that you're never going to see. I'm going to fix that as well as a few things I did notice. There are a few things that I need help identifying. I'm really happy that this thing is now 100% stripped down and it's just really nice to see it in this state because it's getting really close. I can fix all these issues, have it blasted and powder coated. One thing I need help on finding out where these are from. So I looked at a Ford Model T, a Ford truck, as well as some Chevy stuff. Nothing really matched this, but I need to pull these apart. I have no clue how they're assembled or how they actually come apart. It looks like there's a pin in here. You can see that the, this is the clutch pedal. Now this, yeah, this is a clutch pedal. This is the brake pedal. And this, on this back side, you can see, it doesn't really look welded, but I haven't seen any pins. So if anybody knows how this comes apart, I need to figure that out because I want to take this apart, inspect the pin, make sure everything's good. I'm going to Cerakote those in black, and then I want to grease the pin and make sure everything is going to be good and not have any issues later on. Plus, when I powder coat the frame, I don't want to have everything blasted and then just have, you know, this is a little sticky. Not really, but I don't want to just throw everything together and then have this seize over time. Another thing I need to figure out is what kind of master cylinder this is because this thing has no part numbers on it. It's completely bad and I have no clue what it came out of. So anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. Also, this suspension setup. So these are off a Ford truck. They're like a hydraulic actuator, but it's like a spring slash it's like suspension. It's like if you had a shock and a spring built into one, that's what it would be. I need to know if anybody knows how to pull those apart because I, I need to rebuild those as well as coat them, make them nice and brand new, as well as all of the suspension stuff. I need to get all the new ball joints, get all this stuff rebuilt, as well as these tie rod ends. I need to get all of these new. So if anybody knows what this stuff came off of, just let me know in the comments so I can get this all figured out so I can get everything ready for the rebuild. I also got the head or the top of the, the valve cover or the combustion chambers off of the engine and two of the studs ended up snapping. So I tried to get them out welding them, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to drill them out and then strip this whole engine all the way down and also the transmission because I'm going to go through this and rebuild it. There were a few sticky valves and I don't think that was an issue with it not starting because it wasn't getting sparked. Mm -hmm. For the most part, this engine looks really good. The cylinders look good. It looks like the air filter wasn't filtering much. Um, there, you know, there is some lines in the walls of the cylinders, but it should have ran. Not had any issues, but I wanna go through this thing, refresh it, make it 100%. So it doesn't have any issues as well as put hardened valve seats in and stainless valves as you know, upgrade the valve train a little bit. So this thing is drivable, not relying on leaded fuel. And uh, we'll get this thing 100% as well. One thing I'm unsure if I should modify is this frame rail right here. As you can see, this has a slight curve to it, but I really don't see why they did it because the piece of sheet metal they made to curve right here is really badly done. So fixing it and making it right would mean making it straight. And I feel like there's no reason for it to have this curve right here because the wood is straight and then it has like this weird little curve on the bottom rocker. The rest of the rocker is completely straight. So it, it's something you guys should let me know. Should I, let me know in the comments, should I make this whole thing straight right here and just replicate it because I have to fix it anyway because all of this rust, I'm going to fix it from this weld right here all the way back. I could just make it straight and then I could just make that rocker so it's the same but it's straight. 
and I'll probably make it out of aluminum instead of, it's like some weird steel. And let me know in the comments. I don't know. I, I feel like I should leave it, but at the same time, I feel like I should just make it straight. Super happy that the Keller is coming back to life a little bit. Had to tear it down all the way to the ground just to do it right. And I know a lot of people don't want me to do subtle upgrades like the flooring or the frame stuff, but safety concern wise, if I do drive this, I don't wanna have the seat not mounted to the frame. I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, share it with your friends, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.